Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check if there's a spy app on your iPhone. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, if you suspect that some app might be spying on your iPhone, you can always check every single app on there and make sure to find it. And if you do find one, you can always delete it. So let's first hop into your settings. And the very first thing we'll do is tap on general, and then you can see iPhone storage midway down. This will show you every single app that is downloaded onto your device. So you can tap on size here and I'm gonna tap on, let's say last use. So this will show you basically apps that you've used most recently. And you wanna look through this entire list to make sure that you recognize every app on here and that you have downloaded and installed every app on here. If you see one on there that you don't recognize, potentially it's an app that you don't want on your phone, it might be spying on you, and you wanna delete it. So for instance, I can always just go into, let's say the Threads app here, and then I could hit offload, or if I really wanted to remove it, I could hit the delete app here if I wanted to fully delete it. Now that's the first place to check, but there are other things let's check as well. Let's go back, back again, and then let's scroll down and tap on Safari. Now on here, there can be Safari extensions that are downloaded onto your iPhone in Safari. So let's tap extensions. And if you see any extensions that are installed on here that you didn't purposely install, I would recommend deleting those and removing them. So of course I don't have any on here, but if you did, make sure you remove those if you don't recognize downloading and installing that extension. Now let's go back and back again and we'll check another thing as well. Let's scroll up and tap on battery and you'll be able to see for the last 24 hours what has used your battery. Now if you suspect that an app might be basically running in the background, checking your location or your phone calls or anything like that, I would recommend looking at the battery usage and which apps have used your battery the most. So you can see for the last 24 hours, Google Maps has used it the most, and then Spotify, Home and Lock Screen, Reddit, News, Safari. But if I look through all of this list, if I recognize everyone except maybe one app on here, then that is a target. Maybe I didn't use a specific app. Maybe let's say I was not on Reddit at all in the last 24 hours, but Reddit is showing up that it's used a bunch of my battery in the last 24 hours. That's a good instance that you want to go to that specific app the way we just went to it into general and then iPhone storage, and then just delete that app from your phone. These are all good things that you can do to make sure no one is getting access to your phone without your permission. Now you can check other things as well. Let's go back and tap on privacy and security. And then there are a couple of things. You can choose location services. If you're concerned with an app tracking your location, you can see every single app that has requested your location and the little gray arrow indicates they have used your location in the last 24 hours. And then you can see the purple arrow indicates that it has recently used your location. So again, if you see an app on there that you didn't know was using your location or you don't want it to, just tap on it and you can switch it over to never, or of course you could delete the app as well. Now you can go back here and you can also do the same thing for, for instance, your microphone. If you wanna make sure that certain apps don't have access to your microphone to potentially you know, listen in on any kind of conversations or anything like that, you can turn those off. As well as camera, you can turn that off as well. So after you go through all of these steps and you still suspect there might be something sketchy about your phone, I recommend going back, tapping on general, and then software update, just update your software to the latest version to make sure there are no bugs or glitches or security flaws in your phone itself that could be causing those issues. And then as a last resort, let's go back, tap on transfer or reset iPhone. And then what we're gonna do here is tap reset and we can hit reset all settings or erase all content and settings. Make sure your phone is backed up 
but that will essentially erase everything and you can start over from scratch on your phone and make sure any apps that are downloaded and installed on there are the ones that you purposely want to be on there and are not spying on you, they're not malware, they're not glitches, they're not basically getting your information or camera or location or anything like that. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.